friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another day of my spring blitz. Today I am making a tag flip book, I guess that's what it's called. I am using some Dear Lizzie products. I just went through all of my stash um, and I uh, went through my paper pads and just cut out like the cut aparts and cut out the tags and all those random little bits so that I would have more ephemera because I find that I have a lot of papers, but then I use up the ephemera and stickers so fast and then I'm stuck with a bunch of papers left still. So therefore, I that's why I cut up all little embellishments and stuff. And now I feel like I have more to work with and can use up my products. So since I was organizing, I was going through all of my different bins of different um, manufacturers or whatever, or designers, and um, just got me inspired to use, because I use Maggie Home so often, it got me inspired to use other designers' products like Dear Lizzie and uh, Amy Tan and stuff like that. So today I'm going through my Dear Lizzie stash. I have, um, how I organize it is a box of all of my Dear Lizzie um, um, scraps and then all my paper pads are in a pile on my shelf. I don't have that many. I probably have like 10 or so and then, uh, well, I don't think that's that many compared to other, what I've seen from other people. And then I have um, one of those little four by six boxes filled with all the cut aparts and tags and embellishments. And most of my sticker pads are like sticker sheets are basically all used up. So I just kind of cut them up and put them in there as well. So all of my embellishments are in one place and they're not falling out of containers or anything like that. So then I feel pretty, uh, pretty good when I start a project. So I'm doing a tag flip. I am using a pre-made tag from this collection. There were a lot of tags. Um, I don't know um, what collection this is from. One of the Dear Lizzie collections, uh, the tag at least. And I put a doily on it. I put some crepe paper on it and just kind of folded it. And those thickers, um, hmm, not exactly sure where they're from. They could be a Dear Lizzie product. I don't know. I just got them from Michaels, I think. And then the U, I'm not, I'm also not sure where it's from. <laughs> so I'm also using this little bin um, that just sits on my desk of things from my stash, things from pen pals and such, so that I am using up that stuff more often. That heart on the bottom was also from the Alpha Thickers um, sheet. You saw that I hole punched um, a hole in that little strip of fray stickers. So I'm gonna put that on the tag and I'm just cutting up some to decorate on the front. And then I'm going to do some black paint splatters. This is a Tattered Angels Mist. And I think that pulls in a lot of the black that is on the front of this tag. All right, so now I'm gonna move along and I make, made this little shaker mix and I'm going to use some scrap paper to do my own um, packaging for it. I really, really love this cute paper from the Dear Lizzie. I think it's Dear Lizzie, um, oh, what's it called? It's, it was from a few years ago. It's such a cute collection. All I got was the paper. I only have the paper. I have a, a few embellishments that Pen Pals have given me, um, but it's such a cute collection. Yeah, I have a bunch of random embellishments and, and stickers that Pen Pals would have given me, but oh, I love it. It's, it's a few years old though. Um, and also on the cut apart sheet, they had these little, um, strips that had different phrases on it. So this one said last Monday and I made it into a little banner thing and put this rosette on it that was pre-made. I didn't make it or anything. And I'm going to put a little, uh, ticket underneath to cover up the letters and hole punch it at the top so I can put it on the ring as well. And that's a good start so far. And some nice little goodies for my pen pal. 
There's my little bin of um, these binder rings. I chose the green one because I thought it matched well with the collection. And I can't see myself really using it for a lot of other things. Um, so next I put just a random tag on so that they would be able to reuse that tag. So I have the front cover, the sequin mix, the tag, and then the free stickers. Now I'm going to decorate this one with some embellishments. Now this is from a tag from maybe like Stargazer or something like that. Again, I have the paper pad and I think the chipboard. If I'm thinking it's the right collection, maybe it's a different collection. I don't know. I'm not huge into Dear Lizzie, so I don't know all of the collections, but I do know some of them and I really like her products. I'm just not as big into it as I am, say, Maggie Holmes. <laughs> So now I thought it'd be cool to make that top of the doily a little pocket because when I was starting to stuff things in, I was like, wait a minute, I can hold it all in that little pocket and then it kind of looks decorated, but then they also get goodies. So it's kind of like dual purpose. So I fill it with some items and then I use a paper clip to hold it there. And then also so they know, like the pen pal knows that these are for her. Now, I don't have anyone specific in mind yet who this is going to, so I may change that up once I know who it's going to and give them, um, kind of personalize the gifts. Now, if you don't know, this is my spring blitz, which is my um, celebrating two years, leading up to celebrating two years of being on YouTube. I'm doing a giveaway. It's open internationally. All you got to do is subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and comment on one of my videos. That's all you have to do. And then I'll be doing the uh, give it, uh, the draw in... Uh, I don't have a deadline yet, but you will know it. It'll be after the once the spring blitz is over because I want to give people a couple days to maybe catch up on videos or whatever because it is 30 days of videos and that's a lot and not everybody has that free time, all right? All right, so now I have another tag and all I did, you'll see at the end, but all I did was I attached some, yeah, here, I attached some... Uh, cut aparts to it and paper clipped it on. Uh, nothing special, but you'll see a close up in the preview or in the um, at the end if uh, you really want to see it. But it wasn't anything special, like I said. I found this little tag in my stash and thought it was really cute and it suited it all right. So I just took the string out of that tag and it already has a pre made pocket, which is fantastic. But it's pretty small, so it can only fit in little goodies, which is fine. I have other spots where I have goodies, but it's just a really small pocket. Now I am going to add a little more decorations and such. I'm going to use that scrap doily, which is fantastic. It was just convenient that it was sitting there. Cut off the ends and then put that love chipboard on top. And I think that will finish off the tag flip. It's pretty simple, um, but it's really cute. And I'm glad I got to use up some of my products. I feel like I said it every time. <laughs> um, I love these older Dear Lizzie products. I wish her newer stuff was similar to this. Um, not that I don't like her newer stuff, but... Um, this is just more my style than her newer stuff, I guess. So here are some close-ups, but there'll also be some pictures if this is too fast for you. But you can see there, the goodies come out. There, there's a little pocket. And here are the cards. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to catch up or watch the other days in my 30 days uh, videos and enter the giveaway. I'm also doing a crafty tag video at the end of the series. So if you want to ask me some questions, crafty or personal, feel free to. I'm happy to answer anything. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me for two years. It's been so much fun. I really appreciate it. I love the community. All right. Have a good day. Bye.